Additionally, someone will help wash and feed him in case he forgets how. The physicians visited Sharon. Sharon consented to submit the documentation. They were determined to see to it that Doug was admitted to a mental health facility. Sharon made a call to the jail. She made a call to the AG. Despite her best efforts, it was insufficient. Ripley also gave Sully a check-in. Sully continued her chemotherapy regimen. As Sully and Ripley were getting back together, the former friend inquired about Ripley's plans about the individual who had sued him. Ripley promised to let the man be alone himself. According to Sully, he didn't sound like him. The Ripley who once knew her lived for revenge. Ripley attempted to say he had changed. When he learned that Doug wouldn't be sent to a mental health facility by the Attorney General, just that elderly guy came out. During an election year, she did not want to take the chance of seeming lenient towards offenders. Ripley was not going to put up with her sending Doug back to prison. Dr. Charles was chastised by Ripley for not doing enough. He was unaware that Charles had been fighting for improved jail conditions for many years. All Ripley knew was that when he was in a juvenile correctional facility, Charles had given up on him. When he attempted to debate Charles about it, the other man declined to engage in further conversation. Speaking of again, Dustin was a heroin addict that Archer eventually helped. Dustin was present at conferences. Seen, Archer's son, was even Dustin's sponsor in the drug program. Thus, Seen was offended when Dustin resumed using. Dustin was high on narcotics when he shattered his wrist. To avoid the paramedics finding the heroin pack, he also swallowed it. The medication bag had to come out of Archer's stomach. He got rid of it quite simply. That infuriated Seen because he wanted to turn Dustin in. He desired Dustin's imprisonment for his drug use. He claimed it assisted him in sobriety. Furthermore, since Archer was the one who had thrown him out of the house due to his addiction, he didn't appreciate that the man was speaking about treating addicts with compassion. Back then, Archer had a zero-tolerance policy. Since then, he has evolved. And as a token of gratitude for all he went through at work. In the meanwhile, Crockett lost a client. The child to whom he had hoped to donate a liver had passed away, while his name was on the list. Following the death of his son, his father also took his own life. That's why Crockett was spiraling at the moment. Sharon came to the realization that she was unable to assist Bert in this way alone. He was becoming worse. After speaking with her kids, Sharon got their oak to find him a home. In that way, he will be treated more well. And Paolo went back to the hospital after being beaten with a bat by a person wearing a mask. Naturally, he held Ripley responsible and Powell's sister agreed with him.